everyone, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here and today we are eco exploring at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. A wild beehive. Okay, bye. This used to be farmland, and you at the Turnbridge Center you can see pictures of people's farmsteads. And in fact, the house—it's going to get more. Yeah, you can't see it from here, but there's a house right over here that's one of the original farmsteads. And then it was used to make chemical weapons it, during the war, World War One or Two. I think it was two. And then they decided that was not good and people worked, like women would get jobs here working with Agent Orange and other horrible chemicals. They said it would burn for days on their skin and you would never have some, they thought that, that burying these chemicals that they didn't even know all what they were dealing with in pits was safe until it started showing up in the ecosystem. And so they've turned it into a refuge for animals. They have a herd of bison that live here. And if you drive around the loop that you can take from the interpretive center, you can often see the bison. And they have baby bison this time of year. Bison everywhere. And um, parts of it, parts of the refuge, the refuge itself is huge. You can look on a map and see how big it is. Parts of it are off limits to humans because they're trying to restore it. And they still are taking the, they want to like build on the edges of it, you know, and they'll take soil samples and it'll show up dangerous. And I'll be like, well, it's not really that dangerous. We can build here anyway. So anyway, it's, <laughs> don't drink the water. Don't eat any of the berries. <laughs> don't eat the fish. This is called Lake Mary or Mary's Pond or something like that. A lake for Mary. And it, it says there on the board about it, but it was dug by um, by bulldozers and earth movers, and now it makes a great wetland ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So as we walk down the boardwalk, let's be quiet. Even at, like now, if you're quiet for a second, I heard three different kinds of birds in that short period, mm -hmm. and you can see fish and frogs maybe even turtles. Fox walk is you put your foot down, your heel, and then you slowly roll your foot forward. Why do you think frogs are going to be in this area versus that area? It's shallow. It's shallow and there's lots of what? Bugs. Bugs, yep. What else is in this spot that frogs might like? The algae stuff over there. Algae stuff. Yeah, there's just cat tails to hide it and filter the water and attract bugs and birds. Shade. And shade. Cools the water here. I live there. I have a That's it. Right. Nice. When you study more, um, we can put it in here for now while we look at it. He's wet right now? Hold on, hold on. He probably needs not to be a... No, we're not, let's not catch him. It. Let's let him dry out. Yeah, yeah let's watch it. Okay. Oh, that's one of, one of you know honey he is? Why? He's one of the ones that scares me. It's gross. Let's go. And and that's Let's see what's inside it. What does that look like? That looks like it looks like Ow. berries. Yeah. Kind of looks like berries, uh huh? No, it looks like squirrel. What does this look like? It looks a bug. Right there. Get closer. A bug. Lobster. No, a lobster. Like... What kind of lobsters live here? <laughs> I don't Crabs. Know. Crabs. Nope. Some seafood. It looks like oh, seafood. it's a crawfish. Yes. Now the poo looks bigger, but. So it could be coyotes eating a crawfish. But what we were finding is little piles by these piling with crawfish. The crawdads. Crawdads, crayfish crawdads, leftovers. And they were from cormorants. Those big black birds that sit and air their wings out. Can I catch it? Okay, well you gotta leave it in there, honey. Yeah. I, I collect baby. Okay, so we had a really fun day. We made our own fishing poles, and we fished, so we didn't really catch anything, though. Um, it's caught a damselfly. I, um, 
We saw some bison. We had just a ton of fun today. We saw some really cool spider webs, and it was just amazing. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.